hey, one of the worst patients I've ever seen that most debilitating was Kim. Now, Kim had a headache, and it was just any headache. It was a migraine, and it lasted from September to March. Can you imagine waking up with a migraine every day? In fact, her life revolved around getting up in the morning, turning down the shades so no light can come in, turning off all sound at all, letting the dogs out, coming back and laying on the couch all day long for six months until she started going to doctor's appointments. She actually went to three different doctor's appointments, even had surgery on her neck and was on 18 different, 18 different medications, including depression medication. And man, who can blame her um, for having a migraine that long too? And so she did everything. She changed her diet. She sought care. The one thing she didn't do was see a chiropractor. So I am going to talk about headaches today. And I have helped many, 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 many people with headaches. In fact, currently seeing a handful of people now that have dealing with headaches. Um, someone who um, is preteen has been dealing with it for like about six years now as well. Um, so let's talk a little bit about where headaches can come from. One is an uh, accident. And usually when people come in for pretty bad headaches, I start asking them, hey, is there something that happened either emotionally, heavy duty emotionally, uh, maybe chemically, like they breathed in like chlorine fumes or something like that that's happened to a patient of mine before too. And, or they've had an accident, like a four-wheeler rolled over on, again, all stories from patients in the past too, that happened about four to six months prior. And they go, oh my gosh, yes, that happened because headaches, they don't show up right away. Um, so we can be a physical trauma that they've had for a while. Um, I always ask patients though, are you getting enough sleep? Is your sleep adequate? What about your diet? You know, a lot of times we get food additives that can trigger headaches. MSG is a big one. I've had a woman come in, turns out she had issues with wheat and she come in with sunglasses on because she couldn't stand the light and it was a wheat problem that she had too. Make sure we're drinking enough water. Dehydration is, a, is an issue. Stress is a biggie. Now, I am not going to hit on the heavy duty ones, okay? Obviously, there are some tumors that can cause this, glaucoma. Even eye strain or eye problems can cause this. That happened to my brother. He was having headaches and turns out he had to get his eyes checked too. But there is something else that I help with in here and that specifically it's a nerve problem. And it usually has to do with a lot with the upper neck, but I've helped people with headaches by taking care of their tailbones, believe it or not. So that actually issue was caused with their tailbone. And the issue we're looking for is what we call a subluxation in the chiropractic world. It's where there's nerve interference, where there's nerves that travel to the head and they're not quite functioning correctly. And that's how it shows up. It shows up in the form of pain. When the nervous system doesn't allow the body to work correctly, well, your body responds by showing up at pains. No different than a fire alarm is going to detect the fire if it has smoke. Now, the alarm isn't the problem, although it is pretty annoying at two o'clock at night when it's waking you up, but it's going to save your life. And same way with you know headaches. They're there to say something is wrong. I'm not able to work properly. So definitely you can check those other areas like sleep, diet, you know, getting enough water, the stress in your life can build up over a period of time too. But the things we can undo is the subluxation pattern, maybe caused from trauma, maybe caused from the diet with chemical stress or emotional stress that you just can't get over um, because you're inundated day in and day out. So I want to ask you, hey, if you're dealing with the throbbing pain, if your issues with, hey, I have to take a day or two off after a migraine, and I'm getting them every week and I don't know where to turn to because I've had the MRIs, Dr. Randy. I have uh, did the CT scan, all shows up clear um, on a cocktail of medications and sometimes the Emetrex doesn't even touch the headache that I'm dealing with now too. By all means, I wanna help you because I know how debilitating they are. I've had three in my life that I can tell you that brought me to my knees. Um, and I wouldn't want to wish them on anybody ever. Um, and so some of these people, some people are dealing with them um, like one or two a week with migraines um, and poor Kim, like one for six months. Uh, I want to make sure I can help you and support you in getting over these headaches. So I know parents, you suffer a lot. Moms, when you go down with these, the whole family suffers. And I definitely want to help your family function better because one person's health is going to affect another family member's health as well. 
Hey, I am Dr. Randy Wirtz. Please let me help you. I'd be happy to walk you through any processes or answer any questions for you uh, personally. Take care. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Bye-bye.